What's up, YouTube? Brother Tim here. Uh, it's been a while since I did a video, but I, I had another uh, disturbing dream last night. Um, I'll just go ahead and dive right into it. But I just see a pattern going on with my dreams. Like every several weeks, I'll have something to, to dream about where it's related to the end times, where it's a rapture dream, or, or just the world just pretty much tearing itself apart, pretty much. But in this dream, um, I was part of something that looked like a like a concentration camp or something or a FEMA camp, whatever you want to call it. Um, and for some reason, it just my dream just put me in the middle of this situation where I I don't know exactly what I was doing, but I had this such urgency while I was trying to escape, and there were some people with me, and we was like in this you know just like a refugee camp, and I know it was here in the states, and you know we see military. People were, um, you know, automatic weapons. I mean, they're patrolling. They have uh, night vision goggles. They, I mean, it's nighttime, but you know, they're patrolling. They can see pretty much everything. Security cameras. I mean, everything. It's like, you know, your privacy was just out the window. But I remember trying to, you know, I, I guess I knew something that I wasn't supposed to know because I was, uh, I was trying to evade uh, some of the guards and everything and. You know, they put the alarm out. And, I mean, it's just like in those movies, you know, if you watch any of those like Resident Evil movies or anything like that. We have like the the umbrella uh, soldiers or mercenaries, you know, pretty much there to shoot anything moving. That's how it was um, with me in this situation here. Me and another uh, man that was with me, we was trying to escape. And the technology that was there is just very similar to what we have here now. You know, the folks had um, night vision goggles, they had infrared sensors, they had even their camouflage was able to cloak, you know, like a cloaking device or anything like that. You know, and I'm thinking like, wow, that's that's some top notch technology, you know, stuff that they probably do have now, but just just haven't released it to the public. But we were being chased and one of the guys that was with me, you know, he fell behind and you know, they caught him, and not only did they caught him, they, they shot him right on sight. It, it wasn't even like, you know, take me to jail or, you know, appeal to a higher authority or anything like that. These guys had uh, the license to kill you on the spot, no questions asked, you know, no lawyer, no nothing. And when I seen this man get killed right in front of me, you know, I I was able to hide, but barely, you know, it's by, <laughs> by the grace of God, they didn't see me. But, you know, I, I took off and I managed to run into some, uh, we're inside one of the, the little resident buildings and for my college students you know in the college dormitory you know how it's set up where you have the main uh, living quarters and then you have each section to be like a different room and these rooms are so small it's like they always trying to fit like a family of four in one of those dormitory sized rooms and you can tell how cramped that is but um i managed to uh, get into one of those and one of the families came back and you know I was scared like oh gosh they're gonna they're gonna rat me out they're doing a room by room search of the whole complex looking for me and you know so I'm just thinking oh gosh I don't know what's gonna happen when they catch me here you know and, you know the family came in and you know and they saw me and but they, they were really nice they were really nice people you know they uh, asked me you know did they come by here looking for me they said they already came and went so they're not gonna sweep by again. And I took one of the empty um, rooms on the side, whatever, and just kind of lived there for a little bit. I, mean, I can tell it's like a few days that I lived there. And that was that on that part of the dream, but my dream shifted and we were all like in this factory where it like, it's like they had us working in this factory producing some kind of metal parts, you know, like sheet metal, things like that. I don't know what they was dealing with or, but my, my wife and my son was in there, and you know, my, my son's like almost three years old, and they had him in there. But it's like, what? They don't go to school or preschool or anything. You just you, you work in this factory or else. And I was in there, and I was pretty much telling my wife that I had to go do this thing, and and there's a great chance that I'm gonna get killed in the process. I, I, you're not gonna see me again once I leave here. And you know, I'm having this super emotional conversation with her. We're both crying, you know. I, you know, hugged and kissed her and kissed my son, 
you know, for the last time, because I'm I know that if I go out and do what I what I need to do, they're going to come after me. They're going to find me, and they're going to shoot me on sight. And and there it was. I mean, I went and. And, you know, we talk about the drones and things like that flying over here in the United States, and that stuff is very real because, I mean, they will fly these things around. Like, if you just stepped out of line just a little bit, they're, they're on top of you. I mean, it's not like you have to wait a couple of minutes. I mean, you cross the line, they're on you. And they're not listening for any excuses or, or anything. I'll call my lawyer. They're not going to reach any rights because you don't have any. You know, you're just a drone. You're just a, you know, cattle. You out of line, we put you down. And it was horrible. And it was like I spent most of my time trying to run away, and there's nowhere I could run. If I run here, something sees me. If I run here, some guard sees me. And, and it's like you're totally under 24 hour surveillance, and there's no escaping it. And, and to make a long story short, they wind up killing me. And, you know, I saw my body like laying on the ground, wherever I was. I was up in like a high area of the machine plant. And, and, fell to my death pretty much and that was in that dream and I guess what I really want to talk to you all about is that if that's how the world's going to be like when the B system is up and running where the Christians are raptured away and you know I am one of those pre-trib you know rapture people I mean the Bible teaches that we're not the church will not be here when it happens I know there's going to be people who disagree with me and that's fine but all I have to say to you is read the entire Bible in context. Don't just pick a scripture and say, okay, we're going through it. No. And I have some people say, well, you know, persecution is part of the tribulation. Well, we've always been persecuted. We have always been persecuted as uh, Christians at the early church up until now. But that didn't mean back then was the tribulation. The tribulation is going to encompass a whole new level of uh, persecution that the world has not seen before. It's, it's going to be twice as bad as the Holocaust. It's going to be twice as bad as anything we know. So you can't take the two and combine them. Like if we're talking about persecution, we must be in the tribulation. No, no, no. They're two separate, uh, two separate things. I mean, there's, there is persecution inside the tribulation. Yes, there is. But it's not for the church. The church is gone. The, that persecution will be for the Jewish people and those who come to know Christ as Lord during that time who didn't know about him beforehand. So that's that's what is going down. But we have people in high places and high government authorities. The government bought a you know one point some billion rounds of ammunition and I'm just thinking it makes a lot of sense knowing that if they got all these people in these FEMA camps or whatever, they need all the ammunition they can to keep us quiet, you know, so that made a lot of sense there. But I'm just going to give this word out to those who think that this is all a joke. There's no such thing as a rapture. There's no such thing as Jesus Christ and all that stuff. You know, you will have no hope in a world like that. I mean, if it's anything like my dream was, you know, you think you, you're you free now because you don't have to worry about the Bible. There's no such thing as freedom while Christ. No such thing. You know, because what the government's going to do, they're going to have you in a chokehold. And there's nothing you can say or do. I mean, it's all about having power. You know, they don't care about freedom at all. And you need Christ in your life. You need him like now, like today. You know, don't put him off. Do not put Christ off because when that rapture hits, it's all going downhill from there. It's all going downhill. And, you know, I think I just had this dream to give me just a little glimpse or a taste of what it could be like and know that that's not a place I want to wind up. And I'm not going to wind up there. Thank God for that. But I don't want a lot of people who are watching this video to wind up. I don't want you to wind up there. I don't want my loved ones to wind up there. And, and that's why I'm getting this video out there to warn all of you. you know, let's let's get straight. Let's get straight off our salvation. Let's be real with Christ. You know, you know, admit that we're sinners. We've fallen short. We broke his laws. You know, we deserve our punishment. But he went to the cross. You know, we just came off of Easter. Went to the cross. Died for our sins. You know, he got up alive, showing himself to be the Messiah. And all we got to do is confess and believe that, hey, I want what he has to offer. And, and it's that simple. I mean, you're saved. And nobody can can change that. You can't even change it, you know. You know, I am one of those ones that if you are truly saved, you're safe forever. You know, there's no losing your salvation. And for people who say you can lose your salvation, I think you just didn't have it to begin with if you can lose it. So uh, it depends on how you got it, really. 
So I just want to give this video to y'all. I hope you all doing well. God bless you.